let's talk about the chord progression that I was playing at the beginning of the video. Lately, I've been using and experimenting a lot with chords that emphasize the lower end of the guitar. So chords that are played with the uh, lower strings, like this one, or this one, or this one. Now, believe it or not, these are just major and minor triads. Very simple chords, just three notes, the root note, the third, and the fifth. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to play these chords and, you know, how to add open strings so that we can really spice things up and make things really, really awesome. Now, we're really going to take it step by step. You can get the tab if you uh, need it. Just check the Patreon page and support this channel. Thank you so much to all the people who support me on my Patreon page. You are awesome. You can also subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now, let's just try to figure out which chords I'm actually playing. Now, the chord progression I was playing sounds like this. So we said that we are just using basic triads and the first chord is a C sharp minor chord. I'm playing the root note on the low E string fret number 9, the 5th on the D string fret number 6, uh, the G sharp, and the uh, minor 3rd on the G string fret number 9. Now the picking pattern is very simple, just thumb, index, thumb, middle. Play that four times. Now the second chord is quite similar to this one. We're just going to bring the index finger up to the fret number seven and we do the same thing with the picking pattern. Now believe it or not this is an A major chord which doesn't really sound uh, nothing like an A major chord but if you analyze the notes you're going to have the low E string fret number 9, which is the major 3rd, the C sharp. Then we have the D string fret number 7, which is the root note A. And the G string fret number 9, which is the 5th. Beautiful sounding chord. Now the 3rd chord is an E major chord. Now this is an E major because we are playing this um, low E string fret number 7, which is the 5th. We are playing the D string fret number 6, which is G sharp, uh, the major 3rd. And we are playing the root note on the G string fret number 9. So it's like an E major with the B on the bass, with the 5th on the bass. Same picking pattern. And the last chord is a B major chord. We're going to play the same shape as the... Um, a major, just two frets up, and we'll have um, we will have 11, 9, and 11. So with this chord shape, the root note is on the D string. Now this chord um, is the last chord of this section, so we're just gonna play two uh, rounds of the arpeggio plus one bass note, and you let it ring out. Now it's really important that you learn where the root note of these chords is. So when you play the C sharp, the root note is right here. So it's the lowest note that we can play. The second chord is the A. The root note is on the D string, so it's the index. The third chord is the E major and the root note is actually on the G string. So it's the highest note of this chord. And the last chord, the B, will have the root note on the D string played with the index. Now it's really important that you learn that so that you can transpose these chords up and down. Now we're going to add an open string to these chords, just a B string open, and we're going to keep the same arpeggio, we're just going to go thumb, index, thumb, middle, and then when we do it again, we do thumb, index, thumb, ring, finger. So we're just going to add the B string on the second and fourth pattern. Same thing. Now 
Now the B, remember that it's really conclusive, so you just wanna play. And you let it ring out. This section is super simple, you just gotta use the ring finger to add the B string. Now we're gonna play uh, the same picking pattern over a different chord progression. And we do that just to create, you know, kind of a structure as always. And I just love these chords. You know, the E major key is such a beautiful key. And so we're gonna go from the C sharp minor uh, to the E major, which is relative major key. And it sounds like this. Now we're gonna start with a beautiful E major chord. Now the E major is usually the first chord uh, that we learn. Um, and it's kind of, I, I don't wanna say it's a boring chord, but it's just such a, a overused chord. And when we play like this, it sounds so different and beautiful. It's such an open triad. Now the picking pattern is the same and we're playing just the D string and the B string for number nine. So the root note on the low E string, and then you have the fifth, and then you have the third, and then the E string open as well. So the picking pattern is always the same. You have thumb, index, thumb, ring, thumb, index, thumb, and ring on the uh, E string. So. We have it, we have the whole thing twice or you can also break it down into four different patterns. One, two, three, four. The second chord is B major, it's a B major chord. Uh, we also play the um, 11th as well. We play in the low E string, fret number seven, which is the root note, the major third, which is the G string, fret number eight. And we also have the F sharp, which is the fifth, on the B string, fret number seven. And the E string open. Same picking pattern. Uh, this time we have thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, and ring. Now the next chord is a beautiful F sharp minor seven chord. Just played with the root note on the A string fret number nine and the fifth on the D string fret number eleven and the minor third on the B string fret number ten and the minor seven on the E string open. Same picking pattern, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, and ring. So it's the same rhythmic thing, uh, just the, you know, the, the pattern is different in terms of uh, plucking fingers, but the rhythm is the same. And we slide back to the C sharp minor chord, same shape all the way down to the fret number four. again. Now you can play this section either one time or twice. Uh, the second time you play it or the third time you play it, depending on how many times you want to uh, play these chords, you want to change the last chord. And so we will play the E major. The B and from here we're gonna slide back to the A major and we play the same shape just uh, two frets back so I have fret 5 6 and 5 and the E string open and we play so we play a full round um, and then we have the um, bass note and the top E string fret number seven. And you let it ring out. If this chord is too stretchy, you just play the A string open. You don't have to fret the bass note because it's an A on the low E string fret six, but you can also play it as an A string open. And we play these two notes and then we finish with the C sharp minor chord. beautiful sounding chord progression. So that's it guys, this is how we can use a bunch of chords uh, that are played on the lower end of the guitar and still 
still make beautiful sounding chords. I just love this approach. The fact that we can, you know, experiment with different chords and shapes. These chords are not, you know, not, they don't feel natural the first time. Uh, they're kind of, you know, different shapes, but just keep trying. Memorize where the root note is so that you can transpose these chords in another key and just enjoy the uh, learning process, okay? Now, thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time for another lesson.